Hi, I'm Mo Volans for Point Back Music School, and I'm actually doing some mastering, but I'm not using my computer or any hardware. Everything's being taken care of by an iPad app called Final Touch by Positive Grid. In this series of videos, I'm gonna give you a great insight into what the app's capable of and go through all the details. For this first video, let's just have a look at an overview of the app and see what you can expect after you've installed it and what it can do for you while you're mastering your music. So let's get started. So here we are in Positive Grid's Final Touch. And as you can see, it's a really clear interface with loads of information and basically rivals any pro plugin out there. The only real difference here is we're on an iPad and you can touch everything in the interface. So to really understand how Final Touch works, you have to sort of understand the DNA of the interface and the layout. And that's what I'm gonna show you now. And in my mind, there are three different areas to Final Touch. We've got the upper area here. And as you can see, we've got a great waveform display. So you get a great overview of the waveform and the file that you've got loaded. It also tells you the name up here in the top left. And in the very top left, if we press this icon, we can import our files from either iTunes, Dropbox, FTP, file sharing, or audio paste. The file that we've got open here was actually brought in from Dropbox and it opened really, really quickly. Then you've got the information here. So you can see that it's a 24 bit file. You can see the length and you can see the size of it. And then to the right here, you can just click right of the name and it'll show you any files that you've had loaded, sort of a history. And you can edit this as well. So you can delete these as you see fit. You can close anything by clicking back on the same icon. And then to the right of this, we've got our export settings, which we'll be covering later in this video series. And then further to the right, we've got our transport, undo and redo. So we can play back the file from here. We can easily stop it. We can go back to the beginning if we're, say, located in the center. And then to the right of this, we've got our undo. So say you make an adjustment. So if we change a level here, I can just hit undo and change that. And if we want to go back, you can hit redo. So that's a really nice option just to sort of quickly correct any mistakes. To the top right, very top right, we've got a settings uh, menu, which we're going to be covering later. So don't worry too much about everything in here. And as we move down through the interface, we've got our second section, our center section here. And as you can see, this is where most of the information in Final Touch is displayed. Depending on which module you've got loaded, so if I just uh, go through the different uh, effects modules here, you'll see that this information changes drastically. But this center section always shows you that information about the currently selected device or module. To the right of this, we've got our metering, and this stays static regardless of what you've got selected. We've got an input and an output section, and this allows you to change the level, and also it will give you great feedback on the level uh, on the metering. The lower section is really important, and this uh, allows us to change the order of our devices and engage them and disengage them. We can also select them so the center section displays the correct information. To the right of this, we've got a master bypass, which we can quickly uh, bypass all the effects with, and then below this, a handy preset drawer. In this preset area, we can access different folders, we can add folders, and we can also save and load presets. So that's the entire interface. And as you can see, it is really simple and really easy to get your head around. Hopefully this gives you a general idea of how the, the app application works. In the next video, we're going to look at the pre and post EQ sections. I'm going to show you exactly why there are two EQs and how we can get the best out of these. 